YouTube, what's up, man? This is game two against Fancy for the fifty dollars, fifty dollars a piece. Uh, lost the first one, man. You guys watched that. Uh, it was a, a great game. That's why I had to keep uploading the second one. And we got this one to two hundred likes, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload this second one for you guys. First of all, you guys know he made things rough for me. We're gonna run a little blast. We're gonna blast that ass. That's what we do here, man. Any offense, defense, special teams you see can be found a link below but right there we cannot find the ball below as sean taylor hits sticks michael vick the blast is really tough but that is the downside man if you run into those big hitters you will drop the ball but if you like any offensive defense or special teams you can find maddenturf.com as fancy finds a wheel route to chris johnson Deion jones is a monster but he's not gonna be able to stay with uh chris johnson on that wheel route if fancy has the time right there he had the time was able to lob it up Hit me for a touchdown, so I'm down 7 nothing real quick, but we're going to keep fighting. Uh, right here, we go for the post route, and Deion Sanders jumps that to Hester, man. I, I have not seen, and this is one of the biggest plays, is Mitchell Schwartz, my stick work to make sure Deion doesn't get in the end zone. And so, if you get the stick work to keep Deion out of the end zone, you got to hold the door, right? Bang, Deion Jones, Deion on the backfield on Tyreek Hill. Get him to a third down, goes for the draw. We're going to get outside. He's going to try to fight, but Barr and Shazier hold him back out of the end zone. So we hold him to three. We got the ball first, but somehow we're down 10 nothing in the first three minutes of the game. But if you guys watch this YouTube or watch me live on Twitch, we're going to fight. And Michael Vick fights up the middle, a little blast. Next play, we're getting out of bounds, and we're going to find Mr. Hester. And that's going to the Baja. When they do this all-out blitzing, man, sometimes you hit them up top. They can't run with the 99-speed receivers. It's team, like I said, I got Hester, I got Hill, and I got Torrey Holt right now, wide receiver. So we strike back. We get a touchdown on the board. We're only down three now. Been playing good defense. Uh, get, not giving up too many big plays. He's going to pepper me with this play to Kittle. He found this is probably his best play that he can run to get some yards here. It's just that that post to Kittle. Everything else is pretty much bagged as Jadavion Clowney. Gets to the quarterback. Here he goes again. Oh, there he is again, Mr. Clowney. So I got Cox up the middle. Clowney kind of on a contain most of the time. That's how we come around the edge. Clown three sacks and one drive for Jadavion Clowney. Huge job by him. Getting fancy off the field. So right now we get back. We're only down by three. Blasting that ass up the middle. One thing about this 146, if you guys play against a man, it's really a pain in the ass to pass against. So I'm going to blast you. And one thing Fancy doesn't have is any enforcers. You know, he's got a lot of cap on offense, a lot of route cams. So you see right there, I can run right at Deion Sanders, right at, who's that, Ray, you know, Khalil Mack. I really don't care. Sean Taylor kind of has built-in enforcer, so he's the one that touches me from time to time. But I'm right at these guys. This time I actually get outside, get tackled. Uh, we had the two-minute warning, so Vic is plenty fresh. We're going to keep peppering him. We get into field goal range. Nice tackle there by Deion. We're in field goal range, feeling good, mixing a little inside zone here. Really trying to run against the 146. That's what's good against the blast about the blast. And the inside zone as I hit the little delay route under here to Chris Johnson out of four verse. Get to a third and short. And you know what we do on third and short. We run up the middle. Yeah, we stumble, but we got enough stick to stand back up for myself and get into the end zone. Michael Vick. So that was a heavy dose of blast. You know, gotta try to get him out of that 146 so it makes it a little easier for us to pass. We don't have to deal with those DBs running around the outside. There goes Anthony Barr going to get the quarterback. I use Barr and Clowney at ends, mostly because they're they're big bodies. As we see Kittle, we see Kittle. Kittle is going to be a focal point of this game. He's a focal point of Fancy's offense, probably the best uh part of Fancy's offense, and that's um uh trips tight end. As you guys see him running it well. I use Deion Jones, I use Seahorn, Sean Taylor, all these guys to boom and Sean Taylor kills Hester. All these guys to kind of put it out in coverage and just make it a little tough for him. Don't try to give up any big plays. You know, that's my biggest goal on defense, especially against a passer. Make them work. Eventually you'll get a shed, you'll get an interception, you'll get something as he peppers me over the middle to Kittle again. Kittle, 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 Kittle. Really tired, of Mr. Kittle. There he is again. This post route. He uses a hitch to hold down the yellow zones and then throws this post. And I believe he has post flag elite on Kittle, so he's not going to drop the ball if he gets his hands on it. Uh, this play is killing me, but it's not a. I don't. It's right there, four people around him. He just catches it. He went right down the field with this play, but it's not an I need to change my defense type of play. If that makes any sense to you guys, man, I it's not. It's it's hurting me, but it's not back breaking. It, it, it he, it's kind of punching me in the face, 
but it's not a one play touchdown. And, and we got to do a little bit better job on that post route, figure out what zone we can put out there because he's really killing my cover too with that. But we'll get to it as we get by Sean Taylor. And we're going to take Michael Vick. We're going to hit him with a little fake stop and go right here. Whoop. Kind of up for it. They didn't get the angle and I fumble. And it's recovered in the end zone. Just absolutely brutal after an 80 yard run to fumble like that. But like I said, that, ooh, as I almost get to click on pick with Clowney, that's the downside of the blast. It's great. I've leaned on it. It's been 90% of my offense this whole game. And who I need Seahorn to touch that football. But, I mean, you will fumble with Michael Vick, and you got to live with that as Fletcher Cox, big Cox, gets to the quarterback. We have power specialists on Fletcher Cox, probably the best budget card in the game. Catch the punt and bounce with Hester. Got to get a field, get as much as we can. We are down by three. We are going to lean on a blast. Oh, and we fumble again. That's three fumbles for Vic, man. Uh, like I said, this is the best part of the offense. As we see a little drop right there for Kittle. But it does have a huge negative. There we go. Blocking everybody. Run out. Vic. Vic right now for me is currently 300 cap. He has escape artists. As we try a little jet touch pass, he's all over it. He has escape artists, roaming dead eye, and fast break. As we see the fast break put to work here. But whoo, Champ Bailey grabs Vic. Pulls him back. A little more fast break. When I see Deion Sanders, I'm running right into him. He's not going to cause a fumble. We just got to be afraid of that man, number 21, Sean Taylor. Here we go, second and eight. We're just going to get outside. Whoop! Cut back inside with Vic, man. He's just a lightning rod. Right, 301 cap, but I put the ball in his hands every single play on scrambles, passes, blasters, everything. Man, so it's definitely worth it for me to have that. So we go up four. We got two-minute drive on defense, man. And what that means is let Fletcher Cox eat, as he does right there. And I've been using in the corner later in this game. And, oh, big-time catch right there by Fancy Hester in front of Seahorn. But that's the two-minute warning. I'm going to let this play out. I'm not going to edit no more and talk to you guys what I'm thinking about. This game is insanely different with the runoff. I know a lot of you guys play Mutt, and Mutt doesn't have the runoff. But between every play and the two-minute warning, you're going to lose 10 to 15 seconds. So uh, it's really hard to go downfield uh, without in this situation. So you got to keep things in front of you. Hopefully keep him in bounds right there and they let him get out so the clock stops. He has all three timeouts, but time really is still a factor. So I like to really play safe in these situations. Make people burn up that clock, burn through their timeouts. So instead of running cover two, which I have pretty much every snap, I want to start putting Seahorn in the deep third and put a quarter on the outside. Just like that. Essentially cover deep middle. I can't. He can't run a streak down the middle of the field. And things of that nature. So that, that's pretty much what I want to do. I'm not going to give him a big play. Lurk the whole left side. If he wants to keep doing that post to Kittle, uh, it's going to take one of his timeouts or it's going to take 30 seconds off the clock. So as long as I don't give up a play over 20 yards, I'm feeling pretty good about this defense. And that's my goal right now as we get a scream right there. Doesn't get away from him, but I go get Michael Vick. He actually had agile extender on Vick. If you guys play Mutt, that allows him to break the sack of a DB right away the first time. Fourth and seven, got to get off the field, man. Definitely want to get my DB to come free again. I'm I honestly, most of the time, I don't care about him missing a sack because most of the time you'll find he'll knock the next the next guy will come knock him down. But here we go. We're not gonna do nothing crazy. Same defense, same thing. I got the left side. We put a third in the middle, a quarter on the left side. He's gonna open, motion over. What happens is I touched my corner, so he's not going to run with him. And he's able to snap throw this for a first down. Just just know once you s touch your corners, they won't move on motions or audibles. And it's just frustrating because I almost forgot that I touched them. But that's okay. We're in the same situation. Still hasn't used any of his timeouts and he's cross midfield. So we're not doing the best. We let him hit that route. We let him run out of bounds with the quarterback. We let him hit, uh, uh, what, what else did he hit? A running back route and got out of bounds. So... A lot of different things we see him just come free there. This little agile extender, hopefully keep him in balance. That little agile extender really is killing me. I mean, he breaks every sack from Denzel Ward right off the bat. I don't know if I can get a safety there, maybe. Maybe some better tackle rating or something, but Vic is definitely killing with that. Um, as you guys know, the 146 is a DB's blitzing, so it's going to be tough if you have an ability that makes them sack the oh, clown. He's not going to break Clowney's sack. But if you have an ability where you can break the sack of a DB right away, that's pretty tough, and Fancy has that. Clock is really running. As you see, 30 seconds. He probably should have used the timeout right there, especially having all three. But he's going to snap a play right here. 
look to go up top, but we can't get the ball. I feel like doing so much traffic right there. Sean Taylor can't come down with it. Same thing, fourth and two we have right here. Like, I can let him get the first down almost. You don't got to overplay it, man, because he still needs a touchdown. So for me, I'm like, all right, let me, I'll just keep running the same defense, man. If you want to throw a hitch, if you want to throw something underneath, you can have it almost. You know, right here, I let him throw the drag. Boom. That was a different play than he's ran in a while. But I let him complete it. That's cool. He has to use a timeout. 18 seconds, two timeouts. You know, I'm just going to keep playing over the top, playing over the top, playing over the top. Move Sean Taylor down so I don't get with that seam. Got to worry about Kittle. I really don't want him catching another Kittle route. But as you know, I'm kind of the cloud flat on the left side. So I have to use the whole left side of the field. So I can't really run across the field with Kittle because I'll leave a running back wheel open. I'll leave a slant open. I have to guard pretty much from where my user is now to the sideline underneath. I'm going to let my mid revert hooks, everything else, guard the right side. But that's also what's been killing me with this, uh, this Kittle post. He goes Kittle on the corner route, so I feel good. I feel fine. There's nothing to throw. Kittle is is the he he's the one in this formation. He's down to 12 seconds. He still has two timeouts. Actually, as I look back on this, he really managed this clock really bad. Um, definitely should have called a timeout after a couple of plays. He was in bounds, especially after that sack. Same thing. Here we go. 12 yard line. He goes up top to Kittle and Seymour is too far back. Gets it to the eight-yard line, man. And I'm rough right now because I feel like, all right, it's two plays right here. Now, I've dropped back in coverage every time. You guys watch both of these games. He's had some nice little dots inside the red zone. So, I'm not going to let him get any time. I just sneak a blitz right here, come off the edge, and then up the middle, Shazier gets it. Now, I haven't been blitzing at all, so I snuck that in. Now, obviously, now this is where the chess match of Madden comes in. Am I going to blitz him again? He's probably thinking, now I drop in the coverage. So, I'm thinking, let me send the pressure at him again. You know, he's going to want to send out every wide receiver just to have more options to throw to down here in, inside the 10-yard line. It's tough to score here with only a couple wide receivers. So, he's going to send out all five. You know, and I blitzed last drive. I know he's not going to expect me to blitz this play two plays in a row, and I do get a lot of pressure off the edge. And there he is, Anthony Barr, bagging things up right there inside the 10 yard line that's just the thought of the last two minute drive make them use time make them get their back up against the wall he didn't execute best make people do everything to beat you man he's still a great passer man he really is if you guys don't know fancy man check him out on twitch i believe his twitch is the same name as his gamer tag but he's one of the best players this year man he's won plenty of fnfs and, and just really enjoy playing against him. It's really a chess match. And I appreciate you guys hitting the, watching the video, man. If you want to see more money games, hit that like button.